And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. December 30th, 1695, 317 years ago today. The day the world lost a visionary of mathematics. For that was the day the English inventor, Sir Samuel Morland, died at age 70. Among other things, Morland created a so-called multiplying instrument, regarded by some as the very first calculating machine. Of course, these devices have multiplied many times over since then, both in number and in size. By the mid-1950s, IBM's huge mainframe computers were the industry standard. Characteristically, they had slow information input and output performance, but their computing power was the marvel of the 1950s. The 60s gave us the handheld calculator. And in 1981, IBM introduced its first personal computer, which could fit on a desktop and was chock full of state-of-the-art features. A high-resolution printer, the option for color graphics, and the new standard IBM keyboard with both upper and lower case letters. Personal computing has come a long way since that upper and lower case breakthrough. And today, portable computers from a multitude of manufacturers are outperforming anything Sir Samuel Morland could have imagined. Still, for some of us, like Jerry Seinfeld's television dad, all the extra bells and whistles don't quite add up. And you can do everything with it. You can get email, fax, as a calculator. So I can use it in the restaurant to figure out the tip? Yeah, I guess. But the really cool thing is the Daily Planner. Uh, Helen, we can go to the restaurants and figure out the tips. Jerry, you're getting your father too excited. <laughs> Not everyone is convinced that the modern computer has rendered human mathematical aptitude obsolete. Back in 1976, I posed a challenge to Indian math wizard Shakuntala Devi. Could she calculate the cube root of a nine-digit number in her head? 986 is the answer. It's 986. Is that right? Well, we asked the computer before <laughs> I see. to see what it would be. And what the computer gave us as the answer is uh, 986. Good. <laughs> I'm glad the computer is right. In the battle between machine and humankind, score one for us.